Chev. Sublines currently 100 to 200. Daniel may be the shortest at the table, but he's still got 65 bigs. Under the gun, plus one. He min raises to 400. Alec Torelli from the US calls with fives. Dario Sammartino calls as well. He's got pocket threes. Folded around to Danny Palafas in the small blind. The Romanian calls. And Luca Pagano. Jack seven off. He's getting good odds. He calls as well. Yeah, everyone's pretty justified in making this call. Pot odds kept getting better and better. Queen five deuce with two clubs. A set of fives for Torelli. Negranu was the pre-flop aggressor. He has ace high in a backdoor club draw. And he bets 1,150. Over half pot into four opponents. This bet should come free with a drink at the bar because it is a little nuts. How does Torelli play a set? I think part of Daniel's rationale is that he does have that backdoor nut flush draw, which means he can probably rep huge on the turn. Torelli raises 2,500 total. Samatino gives up the threes. Palafis is out. Luca folds as well. Daniel calls. Daniel's now put in 25% of his stack with no pair and no draw. He's going to need more runners than the New York Marathon. Well, Daniel's going to be loving that card. He now has second pair plus the flush draw. Torelli obviously still big favorite with those set of fives. Daniel's going to think that's the best card in the deck for him, but we know it's the same as any other club. Except the queen. That would be bad. And it looks like Daniel's going to donk lead this. Don't let the name fool you. Even the pros do this sometimes. That's when you bet into the last aggressor. Blue chips. Torelli's bound to be a little confused by this. Daniel's bet 30% of his remaining chips. Torelli may well just put them all in. No, he just calls. He's either trapping or he wants to reevaluate on the river. The river card is the ace of diamonds giving Daniel two pair. And he moves all in. We could be about to lose Daniel Negreanu. Sick part is he thinks he's value betting. 67. 7,075. This wasn't a great card for Torelli either. Got ace, queen of hearts or something. This will be an awful line for a bluff. So Alec might think he's beat here. It's like I want to fold. Really? You have a what? I want to fold. You don't have a fold? No, I want to fold. Oh, I wanted to fold. Do you have ace, queen of hearts? Is that what you have? That's kind of what I put you on. Fold the damn turn. There is an argument. If you call the turn, you have to call the river. Ace, queen of hearts might get half. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the high. I'll take the low. Might get half. That's good. I mean... It's really hard to be bluffing. That part's true. You're special, though. That's what I've been told. Alec is getting almost three to one. He had fives? Ding. And he lays it down! He folds the set! Show, like, a red nine, and you're my hero. I'll show you one <laughs> card. That's good. Let's see. King of wow. What a card, right? The obvious can't be bluffing card. Show the ace of clubs. I'm so sick you have three aces. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alec is 